Hi folks, this is Dr. Pretty from uh, lovely Austin, Texas once again and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a cellular dermal matrix. Anyone who knows me knows that I do a lot of breast surgery among other procedures and part of my uh, shtick is essentially fixing breasts that have already been operated on or called breast revision surgery. And I sometimes make reference in my uh, website to a cellular dermal matrix and I know that it's sort of abstract so uh, my videographer is going to show you today uh, what it's all about. So we're going to focus down over here and you can see uh, in this illustration that this is what we have as an acellular dermal matrix. This is actually human tissue here um, and it's treated uh, chemically uh, among other ways to uh, reduce its uh, potential for reaction so it's actually well suited for uh, human use I've been using this probably for about six or seven years. Uh, it comes in various thickness. It's uh, very strong. Uh, it's very pliable. You can see when I grab it, it has a lot of resistance. And what I use this for in secondary surgery, not all cases, but in certain cases I've found that this uh, material is almost indispensable. It, it really is uh, incredible how it's revolutionized uh, the results. It's been shown in some studies to reduce the incidence of capsular contracture, which happens to be the most common complication uh, uh, when uh, breast implants are used. This usually becomes in sheets. These, this has uh, already been uh, cut up and used in pieces, so these are just little pieces of the residual tissue that's left. But what I'll do is I'll pass a needle through this tissue and then secure it to something else like the muscle, and it really does a great job of, of uh, uh, adding strength, adding cover, and really addressing some of the fundamental issues that we see um, with uh, secondary breast uh, surgeries. So uh, again, thin, um, tough, uh, natural uh, tissue. Uh, sometimes it's human, sometimes it's pig skin, and I suppose in the future there'll be more synthetic varieties where it's, uh, it's not coming from any uh, animal source, but just basically uh, out of a laboratory. But we're not quite there yet. So I hope this helps uh, illustrate the uh, uh, issue of uh, acellular dermal matrix, and I appreciate your time.